Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Today we're going to do a review the 8010 from Cold Steel. Uh, I know it's a little dark. Hopefully we'll get some better views of it. Before we get into the video, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. We talk about it every video. Vets, I love you. You fought for us. The only thing I can do for you is raise awareness. So let me just say this. You are welcome here. We're working on, I'm working on putting together a raffle for either the end of April or beginning of May, trying to raise some money for Mission 22. I believe strongly in that, and that's that's a big part of this channel. So stay tuned for that. And let's just know, don't fight this fight alone. At the end of all my videos, I link a number if you're struggling that bad. If you can't reach out to someone you trust, we provide a number. Please call it. Please get help. We back the blue over here. How you do that, scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Well, to get into the video, the other day, I did uh, the 4Max from Cold Steel. It's right here. Andrew, Andrew Demco Design. It's their big daddy of folders, okay? It's 10 inches overall. Now, if you if you don't want to put four or five hundred bucks in, I've seen some for three three fifty somewhere in there. Uh, they're rare. You got to find them on sale. But if this is just if you like scab, I just can't see doing it. And I understand that. Uh, some guys love them. I know uh, Josh over at Jimmy Slash has four or five of them. But here's the thing, guys. You may not see putting four or five hundred in this, but you'll spend a thousand on a sword. So it's all relative. I can't see doing that. But it's all relative, and that's why I love the bib, the Brothers and the Blade, because you can get a little bit of everything here. But if the 4MAX just isn't your thing, or the number isn't in Duke, totally get it. They do have a 4MAX Scout for about $110, AUSA 10A. If you don't want to do that, this is the way to go. This is the 8010, Andrew Demco designed 8010. It's got a three and a half inch blade, I think right at like a five and a quarter handle. It's like eight and three quarters overall. Whereas the, the four max was 10 inches overall. This is this is about uh, eight and three quarters and it's a big knife. You can see it fills up my hand, thicker knife. Now that three and a half inch blade, you, you say, well, I like something a little longer. I do too, but the belly of it, the thickness of it, the width of it, how, whatever terminology you want to use from count to count, it's a wide blade, it's an awesome slicer. We do a bunch of tests with it. Now, it's little brother, and the little brother of the 4MAX is the Ultimate Hunter, where the 4MAX has CPM 20CV. This has S35VN, as does the Ultimate Hunter, and let me just show you that. The Ultimate Hunter, the 8010. Now, blade length is about the same. It's just the handles. Now. I've read, I thought these were my card. Everything I'm reading says G10. Um, Y'all can help me out with that. I believe these are G10. Now, the 4MAX is probably my card. At that price point, it better be. The Ultimate, Han Ultimate Hunter is G10. Okay? So, this is like the little brother to both of them. This is 100 bucks, guys. Great knife, S35VN, premium steel. The one we're focusing on today, though, is the 8010. This is one of my favorite knives. We're going out tonight. We got Food Truck Friday in Green Coast Springs. The whole town will be there. It's awesome. I'll be carrying this because it's got a three and a half inch blade, and we don't want to cause any problems with Green Coast PD. This knife is S35V. It's got about a seven on edge retention. That's big for me. About a seven on corrosion resistance. Another, living in Florida, that's big for me. Uh, about a five on sharpening. Now, I didn't have as much problem with this as I did honing up the 4MAX. Um, again, I know none of you ever have a problem sharpening anything, so on that. Hey, let's do this. Let's quit yakking. This is going to be a longer video. Let's get to the test. Love y'all. God bless y'all. Hey, Scab, take it away for me, son. Well, thank you, Scab. Let's jump on in to this sharpening test. I tell you guys, this may be the sharpest pocket knife. I got, you'll note how it glides through this paper. I got a 20 degree edge bevel on it. And uh, I just, I stropped it up good. And while we're talking about that and showing you the sharpness of this knife, I want to thank Eric Hussein. Eric was one that encouraged me to get into the stropping. 
And uh, if you want to check out some superior cutting, go to Eric's um, YouTube page. I'm definitely going to put a link below to Eric Hussein. Check him out, man. The dude is a content monster, and he is a tremendous brother in the blade. So Eric Hussein is my shout out. Go check him out. Now, since we did the Formax out at Fort Scab Tongaroga, I wanted to do the AD-10 out there since this is in the same family. Uh, I, I just wanted to show you some of its capabilities. I consider this your. I, I consider it a heavy duty work knife. I really do. It's super sharp. The belly on that blade makes it a tremendous slicer. We cut all kind of stuff throughout this video. There, there is the Captain Electro thickness test. Uh, we invented that because a cap cap is awful thick uh, to begin with himself. Uh, that's T H I C C, and he he's the one is a big proponent of that view. So that's the Captain Electro thickness test. There's a good shot of the handle. You see, it's got that little curvature, little contour. I love that. You can check out the triad lock on it. Uh, the belt clip is ambidextrous. I carry it tip up. It rides very, very comfortably in the pocket. Contours to the pocket. You really don't know what's there. A lot of knife right there for eight for eight inches. It's got a lanyard hole if you like that. For eight and three quarter inches overall, it is a beast of a knife. It really is. Now, just some light chopping here. And, uh, you know, you can baton with this knife. Yes, I didn't in this video because it is, you know, right at 14 minutes. And, and I believe I show you everything you can do with a knife. There's probably other things uh, that are illegal that you don't want to see. But you can baton with it. And did some light chopping here. If you're stuck, I would say this. If you're put in a, in a survival situation, I don't know why you would be. But if you are and you got the AD-10 with you. Uh, you okay? I'll tell you that right now. Now, if you're fighting zombies, uh, you you probably shit out of luck. But other than that, normal survival situation with the 8010, you're probably in pretty good shape. Now, you see how it sharpens right up right here, and does a tremendous job doing it. That that's where the thickness of that blade comes in. You'll hear my stupid dogs in the background, but that's okay. We're going to power through now. You see how that blade makes it a lot easier it just cutting through that wood. Yeah, it's a green stick, but I got good big bites with it, and it's ready to go. Now, the inevitable question becomes, Scab, is it good for self-defense? So let me just say this. I have a self-defense video coming probably in the next week or so. You see old Scab walking right there, Fort uh, Scab Tongaroga, got my... Uh, Handkerchief from my boy E. Miss that dude daily. And just add another layer of defense there. Now, I'm going to show you all a knife fighting skill here. What? Look, look, there's the stance. Missed. Missed. Uh, missed again. Eh, a little frustration coming in. Now we're just going to slash. You'll note a good, nice bite there. It blew my plan up. Really made me mad. Um, I am hitting it all that time. See all that? Whoop. Nice slash, nice slash. And again, if you run into a bunch of bottles in the woods in a survival situation, uh, you're in good shape with this AD-10. You can slash the fire out of them. You're not going to be able to stab them if they're moving, or at least I didn't. And again, you see the sharpness just blowing through that twine edge there, cutting it in twain. Now, that's one of my more embarrassing uh, segments, but, you know, what can you do? Here we go. Back on another stick. And just, you know, this is basically... I wanted to show y'all a lot of work out there. I enjoy being out at Fort Scab Tongaroga. I really do. It's not super far out in the woods, it's, but it's far enough. You're on your own, you know, just out there, able to have a little fun, a little concentrating, uh, and playing around without anybody seeing you and looking ridiculous at 50 years old building a fort. But, you know, everybody ought to have a place like that. Again, back to the night. I could use this knife seriously all day. Uh, this video has really kind of made me fall in love with it all over again. And it is one that I'll be carrying more and more as time goes by. Very comfortable knife. Again, I can't say that enough and, and as much. I don't even know what I'm trying to say now. Now, what you'll find through the video 
there's my armpit there it's always something everybody wants to see it's a good looking knife man it really is it uh, it would be in that class of a sunday go to meeting knife uh it really does it's just a good looking clean knife i think it's got kind of an old school look to it with new materials like i said i enjoyed the whole thing and and really truly honestly again sharpening honing wasn't that bad uh, edge retention with, with, with the uh, S35VN is about a 7. Now that's huge for me because I, like you, don't have time to, to sharpen all my knives two or three times a week. I really don't. So if this thing can give me a month, two months with a decent edge where I can go back, strop, you say, Scab, do you using that much? I really do use a knife a lot. Uh, even when I'm not making videos, I try my best to use a knife every day. And, and as we go and as we grow as a channel, uh, get more and more and more used to using a knife, one, getting better with using that knife, two, so I can bring y'all some better quality content. That's just the truth. And I enjoy using knives. They're fun. So if I got a knife that'll hold up for a while, man, all the better. And again, this is a beast of a knife. You don't hear me say that about a lot of pocket knives. Um, I like bigger blades. Everybody knows that. I like the Formax. But I can tell you all this. This, to me, is a great or an ample substitute. Uh, plenty of blade for what you need. Plenty of comfort for what you need. And I highly recommend it. Again, whether you like lint or not is immaterial. I think the 8010 is one of the, the more uh, universally loved cold steels no matter what you think of the company, if that makes sense. A lot of folks have these that otherwise probably wouldn't carry a cold steel, and I think that says a lot. The Triad Lot speaks for itself. Great knife. Now, while we were out there, we did do some uh, repairing of the walls. I, I had a little storm come through the other day, and but Fort Scab Tongaro held up pretty good, pretty good. Uh, it's a process. It's a process. Probably be ready by this fall. To do some camping in uh, at least you know sit in there and act like I'm on camp now here's a really really dry stick uh, a lot of times I'll use greener sticks but I wanted to get this dry one uh, seasoned if you will you see right there it's very comfortable a little bit of jimping on the back for feather sticking very comfortable right there and did a great job again the belly on the knife provides it with really 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 good deep slices I can't say that enough. Um, I had a lot of fun shooting this video, obviously, because I can't shut up talking about it. But um, I think next we'll do, well, in the upcoming days, we're going to do the Ultimate Hunter. I think it's a good idea to keep it in the family and to kind of finish this series out, Formax, 8010, and Ultimate Hunter. And I'm going to tell you all that Ultimate Hunter, blade lengthwise, is the same. It's just the width of the belly. So I'm interested to see, and I haven't used the Ultimate Hunter a whole lot. It's S35 uh, VN, Grippy G10, the same as this one. So I'm excited about that, and that's coming up. Here is the Donnie B All Day drop test. It held up well. Some hard downward throws. The balance of the knife to be this size knife is incredible. Well, guys, I love y'all. Everything's going to be all right. I'm Scab. You're not, and I'm gone, son.